Hey everyone, John from Nintendo Life here, and recently Nintendo did a really surprising thing where they partnered with Fujifilm. So now the Instax Mini Link, a Polaroid smartphone printer, can now take pictures from your Switch album and print them like this. Now the interesting thing is Nintendo did a very similar thing in 1998 with the Game Boy printer. So the question is, after two decades, which one reigns supreme? It better be the Game Boy printer. So let's first go over what you'll need. The Game Boy printer requires six AA batteries. Now that's not the end of it because the original Game Boy requires four AA batteries and a Game Boy Color two AA batteries. So you'll need a minimum of eight AA batteries just to print anything from this thing. And you'll also need a Game Boy Link cable. So quite a bit going on there. And the last thing you'll need is also some actual paper. Uh, this isn't official, this is just some third party knockoff, but official Game Boy printer paper was sold once upon a time. So quite a few components there. And in comparison, the Instax Mini Link is very simple. It's recharged using a micro USB port right there. So no need for six AA batteries, but the film itself is a bit more expensive. So you'll need one of these. You get around 20 pictures for around 15 pounds. So it's, you have to, you have to choose your battles wisely with this, but basically you'll take this open and put it inside the Instax Link printer. But unlike the Game Boy printer, once this is charged, it's entirely wireless. You connect your phone via Bluetooth, choose your pictures and just print them. It's very, very easy to use. So while this is a bit more expensive than a Game Boy printer, especially for new prints, it's definitely the, uh, the winner in the ease category. Whereas this is the winner in the cheap category. So just to show you in a bit more depth, let's set up a Game Boy printer and print something out. And we'll do the exact same with the Instax and then we'll do a comparison between the two pictures. So for this, I want to print something off in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So this is the Game Boy printer in all its glory. And what's funny about this is I think this resembles an NES <laughs> more than it does a Game Boy, but whatever, still very sleek looking. So as we said earlier, you'll need a minimum of eight AA batteries for this. If you're using a regular Game Boy though, you will need 10 AA batteries. So let's first go ahead and set this thing up. So we have to take the back panel off to get to the batteries, and we're going to need to put in six of these bad boys. Okay, so now this thing can power on. That's its way of saying hello. Okay, so now this thing's on, what we're going to do is take this off by holding down this panel there, and we're going to have to put the paper in now. So let's go and grab our roll of paper. And I am just going to slide the edge in here, like you're changing a till roll if you work in retail. And we're going to hold down the feed button while we're doing this. It's hard to do behind a camera, but it will go in, trust me. You are hungry for Game Boy printer paper. There we are. She's in. Okay, so now that we know that is accepted the paper, we can roll this baby up, get it nice and snug, and then put this on top. Beautiful. So now this is ready to keep on printing. But how do we use this in a game? Let's turn on Link's Awakening. So to save batteries, I'm going to use a Game Boy Color. And what we have to do first is link these together using a link cable. So if we take this end, we're going to put that right over in there and link this over to the Game Boy Color, which has its one just over here. I put it in the wrong side both times. So now that this is linked up, we're going to get somewhere we can print off pictures in Link's Awakening. So in the remake of Link's Awakening, this feature was stripped out and replaced with Danpei's Dungeon Builder. But in the Game Boy Color version, what you could do was speak to this fella over here, and there's a whole side quest about building up an album. And with all these pictures, you can print them off using the Game Boy printer. So what I'm going to do is get my picture taken just over here, and we can then print out that picture. Now there's a few Game Boy Color games with, uh, and just, just original Game Boy games too, with functionality just like this, like Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. So you could use a Game Boy camera and take your own pictures, or you can print off pictures straight from the game. So let's do this in real time. This picture right here is going to travel through the cable and come straight out of the Game Boy printer. Ooh. Something's happening. It 
It's like magic. Now this doesn't come out too easily, so you kind of have to rip them off, like... Like that. So, <laughs> I can neaten this out later on, but right now it looks like I've just ripped a bit of paper off, and, uh, but this is the result. And for a 1998 printer that's printing off till roll, <laughs> this doesn't look too bad. But how does it line up to a modern day printer? Now setting this up is relatively simple, uh, first make sure it's charged by undoing this flap and plugging it in for a little bit. But the first thing you want to do is give this baby some film. Now they come in packs like this, so let's just take this one apart if I can do so. There we go. And now what we're going to want to do is take the yellow strip here and line it up with this yellow strip right here. So they're just going to go in like so, and undo that, and out will come our first print, which is just the cover here. So this is not this is not a picture, this is just like a little safety precaution to make sure it works properly. So that is now gone, and now we can print something. So what I'm going to do is open up Link's Awakening and find a relatively nice picture. Alright, so I've decided I want a nice picture of me and my bunny friend. So I'm going to take a picture right here. And now that that's taken, we can go to the Switch album, and this was a relatively new feature they added. But you can now share pictures via QR code. So if I press send to smart device, then send individually, it's going to give me two QR codes in just a second. Now what we can do is go to the Link app. Now if you want this, you can just take the box, and there is a QR code to scan in right there for both iOS and Android. And this will give you this app right here. But before we do anything, the first thing we want to do is connect the device. So go to Bluetooth settings, and we're going to just hold down the Instax button right there a second until it starts flashing, and then search for a device. And it should find the Instax relatively quickly. So it seems, yeah, they're now connected. You can see right over here. And if I go to Switch Direct Print, we can scan in these QR codes. So there's one. And then we can scan in the other one, and all of a sudden, we're going to have a Link's Awakening picture on our phone. So it's taken it in a weird aspect ratio, but we can change that by editing that. So we can just flip it around by, uh, oh, that one there. And we can zoom in as much as we want and get as nice as a picture as we please. So I'm going to go with something a bit like that. And we're just going to print. So if I press the print button now, we're just going to move this out of the way, put that there and press print. And there we go, that's transferring from my phone all the way to the printer. And in no time at all, it's gonna give us a brand new picture. So while this is printing, what I'm gonna do is just neaten up the, uh, the Game Boy picture a moment. So this is all out, but because it is a Polaroid, it's gonna take a moment to develop. So let's put that over there, put that there where that develops. And I'm gonna get my scissors and we can watch it in real time as it develops. But let's just even out this one. Take a little edge off. Beautiful. And there we are. So there's, there's our Game Boy camera picture. We'll put that right there next to that. And we'll just watch that slowly develop over time. It's coming. And the full version will look something like that. Still just appearing as if it were a ghostly figure. Ooh. So the color is taking a little bit of set in. It's a bit desaturated. This one I took a few hours ago is much nicer looking, but this one also looked desaturated for a bit, but then eventually the color came and now it looks pretty good. But of course we're comparing it to something that looks like this, so it's a bit of an improvement, if only a little bit. So you do need three devices, being the Instax, a Switch, and a smartphone, but the result is pretty darn good. So what I'm going to do now is just print out a bunch of different pictures and see how they all look. And of course, the obvious game choice is new Pokemon Snap. Now on our phones, rather than going to Switch Print, we're going to go to Frame Print, which basically gives us all these different frames to put the picture in. It could be Animal Crossing, it could be Mario, or it could be an Instax theme like this. But we're going to do a Pokemon Snap one. Now what would be a good one for Bidoof, celebrating his, his life? I think just a regular old uh, center Pokemon Snap one. 
I found him! Now, Bidoof isn't quite in frame, so let's just try and edit this a little bit. So we're going to try and rotate him around. And make sure he looks great, his best, on his happy day. So there we are, there's Bidoof. We can also uh, change the brightness and things like that, make things look a bit better. So we can go like, whoop, make him nice and bright. I'm going to make him look a bit like that. And uh, we can change the frame on the fly if we want to. We can make it look like that, like that. In fact, I quite like this one. But the frame is now showing a little bit. So let's just tr uh, try and correct this a tiny. So we just zoom in like that. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I think that's pretty much ready to print. And we can print both with the Instax going up and down. So let's just print like this and see how it comes out with it uh, in a different mode. There we go. And just like the previous one, this has to develop as well. And yeah, this one's coming in quite slowly, but you can see the frame is right here. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. They take a bit to develop, but once they're there, the colors look great. I'm afraid to say, they might even be better than the Game Boy camera. Maybe a tiny little bit. So let's just do one more direct switch print. So we're going to send a smart device, do that, and again, just scan in the QR codes. It's really, really simple. There's one. And here is two. Beautiful. So this is going to send me my new Smash picture. And again, we have to edit this a bit because it's come in the wrong orientation. And there. And that's basically ready to print. So there we go. It's going to go... Whoosh! And into this. As if it were magic. Now, I'm someone who takes a lot of Switch captures. If I wanted to, I could print out the moment I went from level 99 to 1 star in Tetris 99. Or, I could print out when I became Elite Smash as Zelda. Or I could print out, I don't know, when I beat Dragon Quest. All these moments, all these pinnacle gaming moments for me, uh, can now be immortalized in physical form. And so many Switch games have photo modes too, like Dragon Quest Builders 2 is a beautiful one. Or Mario 3D World. I'm sure there's some photos of that game uh, hanging around in my album somewhere. Let's see, here's some. So if I wanted to, I could take this picture of Mario kicking a ball and print it. Or this picture of Mario... You know what, let's do this one, of Mario jumping at a plant. So if I send this one to a smart device, I can give this one the Mario filter too. So there's definitely times where you're going to have to make adjustments and compromises to fit in the frame. Let's see. I'm determined. Let's, uh, let's go back to how it was originally. Alright. You know what? Let's just get the plant. <laughs> let's just get a beautiful picture of the plant like that. That looks pretty good. And print, baby! Okay, and for the final picture, we're doing Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I'm going to choose... Oh, these are also lovely. Let's go with this nice blue one. And my picture is going to be this one that I took with some friends online. Let's just rotate it around. And it's of us just feeding the ocean. There we go. We need to get the text in there. Water is thirsty. And uh, let's, just, let's turn things up a little bit. It's a bit dark. There we go. That's looking nice. And print. As we speak, the Animal Crossing photo is developing, and I think it's safe to say that the Instax may just about beat the Game Boy camera. But one of the best parts is the Switch functionality was a mere update, and the Instax can be used for far more than just Switch pictures. You can print anything with this thing. So with that said, here's a picture of Xeon. Beautiful. So, Nintendo printing has come a long way, and whether you want to take pictures of Mario and Peach, or Xeon, the Instax Mini Link is a really good printer, and it may even be better than the Game Boy printer, but I'll let you guys figure that out for yourselves. <laughs> which one, which one do you think's better? <laughs> let us know in the comments below, and of course, go to that subscribe button and print it out using the Instax Mini Link, and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Oh,